Hokey dokey. In this problem, they give us a chart of day and biomass values. They mention something about average rates of change, which is just a fancy phrase for slope between two points um, to describe the behavior in the biomass over three stages between day 14 and 50. In other words, from start to finish on this chart here. So um, one can only assume that these stages are one, two, and three. So stage one represents between day 14 and 44, two between 44 and 48, and stage three between 48 and 50. So the goal really is just to find the slope um, between the two stage one points, stage two points, and stage three points, find the slope uh, for each of those, and then just use those to answer the um, statements here, figure out which statements are true or false. So we're going to find the rate of change for each of these stages. So stage one, we will do y2, or I guess really biomass two minus biomass one, kind of like y2 minus y1, and divide it by the day two minus day one. So for stage one, we will have between 14 and 44, so we have the biomass of 149.2 minus 77.2, all divided by 44 minus 14. I'll go ahead and set up the other one. So for stage two, we'll do the slope between 44 and 48. So we will have the y values, or the biomass values, 170.8 minus 149.2. Point two, all divided by 48 minus 44. And we're almost done here. It's kind of tedious, but it's not very complicated. So hopefully that's good. 172 minus 170.8, all divided by 50 minus 48. So we will find these three slope values. Let's go ahead and open up Desmos and do it there. 149.2 minus 77.2. 72. Nice. And we'll divide that by 44 minus 14. And that'll give us 2.4. 2.4. And we'll throw a 2.4 for that rate of change or slope value in our little chart. 170.8 minus... Uh, 149.2, 170.8, 149.2, all divided by 48 minus 44, 5.4. So we're on a roll. Let's go ahead and plug that in there. And the last one, 172, <clears throat> excuse me, minus 170.8. All divided by, I think it was 50 minus 48, and we get 0.6. So we'll plug that bad boy in there. All right, so we have our three rates of change for our different stages, respectively. Let's check out statement number one. Biomass increased most rapidly during stage one. This is false because 2.4 is not the largest rate of change. 5.4 is the largest. So if it instead said increase most rapidly during stage two, that would be correct, but it does not. So this is false. Number two, they say during stage two, the biomass increased at a faster rate than stage one. Yes, that is true because 5.4 is greater than 2.4. So true statement there. Number three, during stage three, the biomass increased at a slower rate than during stage two. So at stage three, we had 0.6. At stage two, we had 5.4. So 0.6 is slower than 5.4. Three is slower than two. That is a true statement. All right, so it looks like two and three are correct. So we break out, or it looks like option G is our answer. So we break out the eraser. And we see that G is correct. Very tedious problem, but hopefully this makes sense. If you'd like to see another one worked out, I will work out one more example.